Good morning, Julia. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. I'm fine. You? Ah, I'm bit, uh, I was a little bit stressed an hour ago because then you had to check whether well, technology works. But uh, right now I feel very good. I feel very honored to be with you. And you know, a couple of reasons is that uh, it's actually three reasons. I like Meccano Technica very much. The products you do are fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I actually also like that I'm talking to a young person, which is not so often in oh, our industry. Thank you. <laughs> and and then you are the only uh, woman uh, all day. So uh, I will uh, treasure this from my bottom of my heart because we have too few women <laughs> in our industry too much uh, as well, right? So uh, oh, it's a honor for yeah. me to be here. So yeah, and uh, and you. basically, uh, I just mentioned that you are from Meccano Technica. Maybe you could just uh, introduce yourself. Yes, I'm Giulia Sinatra. Uh, I'm in Mechanotechnica since January 2021, and I'm the marketing specialist mm -hmm. of this Italian company. And I'm glad to be here. Thank you yes. for the invitation. <laughs> See, I have invited you also when we met at the uh, Hunkel Innovation Days. I think yes. that having that uh, breakfast show was very funny. And, uh, yes, and I think course. it was like trying to make uh, some kind of lifestyle television uh, out of the industry. And it's funny because I, I, when you sent me the, some, you have some videos that we're going to see today. Uh, and the last one we're going to see, it reminds me a little bit of uh, the Hunkel Innovation Days because it is both humor and still explains yes. uh, about why Mechanotechnica is important. Important. Um, and uh, I think that when you look at the uh, the Mechanotechnica as a, as a, a company, and you and you look at uh, the the section soon books, which you are like the the number one in the world of. Uh, 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 before we see anything, and you talk about in details, but why is mm -hmm. it important to have things uh, section soon? I mean, people are not reading books anymore, and if they read, they just throw them away after two seconds. I mean, why do something yeah. so great? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you think uh, about um, school books, mm -hmm. you know, um, the school books are thread sewn. Mm -hmm. um, everybody study on school, on books. So um, uh, for us, it is important to spread the message that uh, books are still important, mm -hmm. even if technology uh, and its development are um, increasing uh, during these years, um, I think that uh, we think, Mechanotechnica thinks that um, books, textbooks, um, uh, art books, um, yearbooks in the US market yeah. uh, are still important. Mm. So uh, we think that uh, I show you during my presentation mm. um, examples of it, yeah. And yes, and, and Julia, I can't help thinking because uh, I can tell you that I was uh, uh, with a, a, a Dutch company filming uh, uh, just a few weeks ago, a, a mm -hmm. company called Photo Fabrique, and uh, they do photo books, of course. But what I liked about them, which was really interesting, was that they say also because uh, because of the sustainability agenda and people they didn't want to produce products that are just produced and thrown away they wanted to do something that was sustainable and had a long lifetime so that you, you could be justified you're you know, you're having these kind of products and and it's funny because i think that also some of the things that we're going to talk about uh, today is uh, it i don't know how big a technical challenge it is but i take that you know with the with all the things going to products of one and you know shorter print runs yes uh, doing exactly. sections so it must be a challenge to to create machines that can keep up with these uh, customer demands right it is uh, the aim of today's presentation um explaining our machines for the book of one and uh, for the developments of technology and the user experience and so on. So, mm. um, I have been at many printing companies, obviously, where you have seen Mechanotechnica sewing machines. And that has been most of the places I've been with is, is with, the, let's say, book uh, printers that have like longer runs of books. And you see your machines are just, you know, boom, 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 all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. High quality, high speed, everything. Um, is the digital and the books of one or short runs, is that a new opportunity for Mechanotechnica or is it something that you have been in for a long time? Uh, it's a new opportunity for Mechanotechnica. Uh, the market is changing and we are uh, facing these changes. So we want to 
um, develop uh, solutions that help printers and binders mm -hmm. uh, to um, uh, to have the best solutions to uh, produce short run books mm -hmm. and also book of one. So fantastic. Um... As I said to you, I don't think I offend you saying that you're a young person. You're younger than me anyway. <laughs> so I was just wondering, uh, your own uh, consumption of books, I mean, before you joined the, the graphics arts industry, uh, how did you look at books before that? Actually, I didn't read so much. <laughs> I'm honest. Um, uh, I, I didn't think that uh, behind the book there was all this work. Mm -hmm. um, Entering in this uh, in this reality um, uh, opened me uh, a new world because um, behind the creation of a book, there's uh, there are a lot of processes, and I didn't think about this whole uh, production processes. So. Um, for me, a book was just reading, was just, uh, it, it was, was, it was uh, cool. yes, it was cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my teachers, um, always, uh, give me a lot of books to read and I wasn't so happy to read. Uh, but after I came here, I discovered some features of the books uh, mm -hmm. that I didn't realize they had. So, um, so uh, this, uh, this company uh, and this whole market mm -hmm. um, gave me uh, a whole new vision of the book. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I yeah. can tell you something that is quite funny. I was at a conference, I think it was in Stockholm, maybe one and a half year ago, mm -hmm. and uh, they invited a big publisher. And this big publisher, they do a lot of school books, and a lot of the school books in the Nordic is going electronic. Um, mm -hmm. And then they and then they said that they also, you know, maybe five, ten years ago, thought that a lot of novels and, you know, uh, other kinds of like, you know, the things you have on your shelf behind you, and you can see also my shelf behind me, was, <laughs> was going away and being uh, substituted by electronic books. And they were totally wrong on this one. And you know what they realized? They realized that most people, are, are the, the time of year where the, the books are, are mostly consumed is as gifts. And you know, if I give you, uh, let's say, okay, I want to give you this because this is a book. Yeah, now you can go on an iPad and you can use it. It's, it's not really a gift, right? But to have a beautiful book and give it to you, then it's a gift, right? So they yeah. realize that the gift market of books is so big and people actually like to read uh, when they get a book. If they, they may not go down in a bookshop and buy a book uh, at first. But when they get a gift or a gift card for a book, they appreciate, appreciate it differently. And I thought it was quite interesting to, to think of for a second because uh, when I look at the book market right now, it is actually on a global scale increasing. And I think there's two reasons for it. First of all, that you, don't, you like to have a physical, the tactile, you yes. know, the feeling and emotions of a book. But I also think with digital, now it's suddenly possible for self-publishers, for photo books, for back catalogs from publishing companies. And, you know, all these things that create a, a totally new entire business for people producing books. And that's, I guess that's why they need uh, Mechanotechnica for the books of one, for example, right? Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. Um, I think that uh, a, a book that is a gift from another person, um, it has a, a completely different value mm -hmm. than um, buying yourself a book in the bookshop. Yeah. Um, we want to carry on our vision of um, read a book. Mm -hmm. um, we think that um, uh, the book has an intrinsic value that cannot be uh, substituted by a, um, an e-book mm -hmm. or um, um, or the technology. Mm -hmm. So um, I completely agree with what you said. I have a, a product idea for you then. I just got this idea. Crazy okay. idea. 
Now you make a, a machine where you basically, when you bind it, you can actually, on the inner side of the hardcover, you can put in a gift card so you can give them oh. for a new book. Mm. Yeah, mm. <laughs> this is a nice idea. Yes, <laughs> could be interesting to see how much you can push. Uh, I, I remember once I, I wrote uh, an article where I said that part of all printing companies' uh, salaries to their employees should be gift cards for magazines and books. Because I mean, uh, just imagine that you get it, you would probably use it and give it as gift, and then it, it will grow the industry, right? So, <laughs> well, <laughs> just for fun, um, uh, Julia, um, you are going to make. Make a presentation now um, and yep. I will be uh, turning off my camera and sound but I will be listening to what you're saying and okay. I will uh, when you say one two three four five then I will shoot the okay. that we have uh, put in in place here and uh, for okay. the audience if you have any questions you can ask questions on LinkedIn on YouTube and Facebook and I will receive the questions here and uh, we can then forward them to Julia when when she's finished her presentation and I'm pretty sure that I will have some questions for you afterwards anyway. So uh, uh, rest <laughs> assured and, uh, and take it away. Okay. So I share my screen. Um, can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. So today I will explain you Mechanotechnica's value proposition. So let's start by introducing who we are. Mechanotechnica is the industry leader in manufacturing automatic book sewing machines and lines for the industrial production of books. Um, six years ago, we mastered book sewing technology and continued its development to adapt it to customer needs and, and market changes, like the advent of digital printing. The result of this focus is that whatever the printing technology, we have developed automatic systems to transform the printed paper into thread sewn book blocks. So signatures coming from offset or continuous feed uh, presses or digitally printed rolls or cut sheets, we have it covered. Um, the Universe series encompasses the solutions that produce some book blocks, um, starting from cut sheets, signatures or roll printed on digital presses. These machines help digital printers and binders integrating several processes. Um, in this picture, we can see the cut sheet version uh, that integrates the uh, feeding of the sheets, the scoring and folding, collating and sewing. Now uh, I'll show you uh, video number one. So in this video, uh, we have uh, give you uh, an idea of what universe can do. So, okay, sorry, just okay, perfect. Um, here we see the continuous feed version that performs the same processes of the sheet version, but with a different input, the role. Um, the two Hankler modules integrate the unwinding and cutting processes into the universe web. 
and this makes uh, the machine the ideal solution for producing books uh, directly from the roll. Um, in the next video, I'll show you a 3D animation that makes easier understanding the processes that the machine performs. So After the book sewing process, we have recently introduced in our portfolio Proxima, the uh, backlining and backgluing machine. The goal of this machine is to integrate processes for hardcover book preparation that normally are standalone and time consuming in a digital environment. The machine receives uh, sewn book blocks and performs four processes. At the infeed, the book is pressed. After we apply the end sheets on the first and last page of the book block, and side glue is applied. And back then, back and side glue is applied. And finally, the reinforcing tape. The critical feature of the Proxima back gluer is that formal changeovers are done uh, in just 12 seconds. And this is very important for digital printers that have to process hundreds of short runs jobs uh, daily. Um, video number three. Thank you. Last but not least, our automatic three knife trimmer uh, completes the preparation of the books for the hardcover application. This machine is automatic and format changeover is done within seconds without operator intervention. Now I'll show you how all the machines we have just seen connected in line maximize production and efficiency. Okay, so this is today our value proposition, a fully automated line for the preparation of hardcover books. The entire line is made of three elements. The universe, sheet fed or web fed, produces thread sewn books, the Proxima backlining and backgluing machine, and the automatic three knife trimmer. As you, as you can see, this complete line is compact and save space on the production floor. The benefits offered by this line are numerous. For example, the integration of processes reduces labor force required for production and streamline operations. This results in an increased productivity because there are fewer manual interventions and, and touch points. In a nutshell, the integration of all the processes results in cost savings, increased productivity and product quality. But why a company should invest in thread sewing? There are many elements. First of all, thread sewn books have specific properties. For example, they are known for quality, the lay flat property, 
resistance and longevity. This is why certain type of books are usually produced with this binding technique. Um, these are some examples of application. Uh, in this picture, we can see textbooks because normally they are used intensively by the students. Art books or coffee table books, children books, photo books, religious books, and especially for the US market, yearbooks, usually with hardcover finishing. And as a last example, the cookbooks where the user experience could be affected. I want to show you this 90 seconds video that in an ironic way gives you an idea. Since the beginning, Mechanotechnica and its branches focused on giving premium quality after sales services. And this is a long term strategy that we treasure and we believe differentiates us from many others. We have a clear vision of the future, and our RD department is working hard in the development of new solutions that can help printers and binders to exploit the opportunities of digital printing. We are working now for Printing United in Atlanta, where we will start showing some of these developments. And that's all. Um, that's all you say, but I think it was fantastic, Julia. So I'm just trying to get you here on the screen as well, because you're much prettier than me anyway. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for a very exciting uh, presentation. Uh, I like the Italian humor, and I think it's unfair to bring uh, fresh pasta into the equation uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning. But uh, okay, I, 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 I give it into you. That's okay. <laughs> so... Um, You've worked for, for Mechanotechnica for, for almost two years now, right? Uh, yeah. And I was just wondering, uh, the message and the value proposition, I think, I think that is very clear uh, what you're offering. I think the technology is uh, proven technology. How uh, easy is it to, or how difficult is it to convince uh, printing companies and binding companies to actually invest in the technology? Well, I think that... Um... Our, um, um, our technology developed 60 years ago uh, is, our, is the reason why um, a company should invest in our solutions. Because um, our R&D department is always working on um, studying new solutions and uh, develop uh, our solutions uh, to uh, better operate in a, um, uh, in a production floor. Mm. Um, I think that um, the, uh, book, our book binding technology is um, the reason why a company should invest in our solutions. Mm. Because we can, um, uh, we can transform that uh, technology uh, in all our uh, different solutions, like the backlining and backgluing machine, like on the three knife trimmer, 
uh, we have so many, um, um, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, our R&D department is, um, it, uh, is working so hard that uh, I think that all that binding technology could be uh, increased also in our in in the other machines. Yes. Mm. The, but the reason I'm asking is just because uh, the way I see it, and I may be wrong here, is that there is a, a, the market is kind of diversifying. You have mm -hmm. commoditizing of products that needs to be fast and cheap, and then you have let's say the niche products and the luxury products that needs to be great and fantastic quality. And I think that, you know, when you look at, at the section sewing, I, I mean, uh, when I look at bindings and when I look books, I buy a lot of books. I always look at how they are done. And I, of course, mm -hmm. also like, uh, I wouldn't say of course, because first of all, it's the content, of course. But secondly, uh, it is also from a, let's say, professional perspective when I look at it. I like the section sewing books also for the reasons that you explained the, 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 the features of, of the product. But if you look at uh, at the section soon book, I don't know how it is today, but I used to work in uh, with a printing company uh, years ago, and at that time a section soon book was more expensive than uh, let's say a PUR bound or a, um, a perfect bound book. And I was just wondering, do you see that there is an increased demand for higher quality, or is the pricing of the different binding technologies getting closer and closer to each other? Mm, I think that um, the um, if you want a good book, um, um, a premium quality book, you have to invest in uh, a machine that gives you that quality. 100%. So, so the investment is um, is high, mm -hmm. but the quality is also high. Um, the return on investment. Uh, you you can see the return on investment uh, okay. buying our machine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Then I will just extend on that because basically when I was talking about the consumer buying a product, what you basically say is okay. that when you say that a binding company or, or a PSP who invests in Mechanotechnica, basically you can see that their uh, return on investment is great because there is a demand for better quality bound mm -hmm. books. So that is why you why you're saying what you do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and but that is but that is interesting because you know, um, so all the people out there that might say, hmm, no, I don't want to have section soon books because they're just more expensive. You're basically saying that's not that's true, but you say that people will are willing to invest in it for, uh, I mean, for the cookbook you gave a brilliant yeah. example how that is uh, why that is uh, needed. I think there has never been so many cookbooks as there are today, and probably still people are still buying more and more food out outside, right? But that, that's another story. But I was just so basically, um, if you're a printing company watching this, and that is my main um, thing here, you should you should look into Mechanotechnica and 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 talk to to Julie and her team. Because basically, if you think there's a market for, let's say, glued products, there's maybe a more valuable market for the section suit products. That is the essence, right? Yes. Um, as a, a, a consumer, uh, as a, um, a person that buys um, uh, a book, like a cookbook or um, a coffee table book, um, I know that the price would be higher mm -hmm. than other books, like the perfect bound books or uh, soft cover books, uh, whether thread sewn or uh, perfect bound. Um, so I know that uh, the investment I'm um, I'm making um, gives me uh, a book that uh, stays with me forever. It it, it doesn't. Um, I I haven't uh, I don't have to th uh, to throw this book away because um, it is uh, it is resistance. So um, I would invest in a book like this because I want uh, a book that stays with me forever. Mm. Julia, if um, um, P 
people from all over the world are, is watching uh, this uh, this uh, live uh, thing we're doing here. Um, are you selling uh, things in Mekana Technica or you have with distributors around the world or how does it work for you? Yes, we have four branches, um, one in the US, one in Poland, one in Germany and one uh, in China. Mm -hmm. And then we have 47 representatives all around the world. So we uh, we covered the entire mm. <laughs> world, yes. And that, of course, also means that if you buy uh, a machine from Econo Technica, you have a local service network that can help you with the service. And, and yes, the of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. I think that is Im very important because I mean, people invest in technology. Of course, they need to make sure that, that you also have the, let's say, the network supporting it, right? Yes, of course. We have our after sales services uh, in Poland, in Germany, in the US market, also in China. Um, and then also our technician can fly to you wherever, wherever you are. Uh, so we are very mean in our uh, after sales services. Um, uh, we have also a hotline. Uh, available from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So, um, which is very early for Italians, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so you mentioned also in your presentation that you're going to Printing United. Uh, how important are trade shows for a company like Meccano Technica? Um, like. Um, being in a, in, a, in a trade fair um, is always important because um, your customers and prospects want to see, uh, want to see you. Wherever you have uh, a news or not, uh, they want to talk to you, especially after the COVID period. Uh, you want to have a meeting face to face and um, we are working on Printing United. Uh, we will have only an information uh, stand. We do not have, we, we won't have um, machines there. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, but with our uh, graphics and communication, we want to communicate better to our uh, customer and prospects. Uh, our value proposition, first of all, our news, because we have a news but I can talk about it today. You, you can, because uh, basically uh, uh, your colleague and uh, I think maybe boss uh, Stefano, he actually pu pushed it on LinkedIn yesterday, so you can talk about it. <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> uh, yes, we, we will be happy to talk about our news uh, in Atlanta mm. uh, in October. Uh, we are uh, already pushing our new solution on the market, but um, to have uh, a more a deeper uh, conversation about our new solution, you have to come to Printing United. Of course, and you want to be there, and you want to go there, and you want to talk to people. So uh, that's yes, just yes, uh, yeah, um, exactly. Is it your first Printing United, or I mean, it's a big, yes. it's the first bigger trade show for you, isn't it? I mean, you were at Hunkle Innovation Days where we met. But I was, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. My first trade fair was Grafispag in uh, Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And then I had the Hunkle Innovation Days in uh, February this year. And then I will have Printing United. And the next one is Drupa. Yes. That is the mothers of all mothers, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Julia, in, anything you want to add to this? Because we have not got any questions, and I have asked pretty much what um, I like. No, no, I have one question, by the way. I just forgot. Okay. Um, in that space, we spoke about going digital and, and small runs and things like that. Um, yes. If you buy a, a Mechanitechnica for digital production, is it still is it possible to create also uh, uh, threat zone books uh, with zero waste? Um, it's on the workflow. Okay. Uh, it is up on the workflow because uh, every binder, every printer knows uh, how much waste uh, mm. they have. We are creating solutions that um, the, the ideal is to have z uh, zero waste. Mm. But, uh, you know, Mm, 
it is not so simple to have zero waste. But that is, so, that's, that's yes. what I'm asking because I was just thinking that if you do books of one and you have, I have been at uh, printing companies uh, both mm-hmm. in Europe and the US that do maybe six, seven, 10,000 or 15,000 even books of yes. one per day. And then you just cannot have too much waste when you have when you have uh, you know different sizes of books, different spine sizes, everything like that. I was, and I was just wondering because you know in uh, when you have let's say a, a print run of two thousand or five thousand, then waste is not such a big issue. But if you have, mm-hmm. but when, of- when you have a book of one, yes, yeah, yeah. it's an issue. Um, uh, we are trying to make um, zero waste with our solutions, and we can make it. Mm-hmm. Um, it depends uh, on the book type, on the uh, printed loose sheets or uh, web. Um, so um, it depends on your production. But uh, our uh, engineers are always trying to uh, make the best solutions to have zero waste. Yes. Fantastic. Anything you want to add to our little chat here? Um, I think I said everything. Uh, I wanted to say so. Um, the only I'm thing, happy. maybe, I'm happy, I'm happy that yeah? you're here and you accepted my invite. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you for your your invitation. Yes, yeah, always welcome. And um, well, let's say that that means that we have a little bit more time than I anticipated, but that means we can go and make our coffees. And uh, the next <laughs> one that is up is uh, Karma from uh, Dresden. Uh, I actually visited them last week, so uh, they are fresh in mind. Uh, remember the old editors visiting so many companies that sometimes you forget where you've been, <laughs> who you went to. <laughs> but uh, fantastic. And Julia, say hi to the Mechanotechnica team and, and thank you for your time here. And I look forward to see you in Atlanta. Atlanta in just uh, three and a half weeks time from now. So uh, that will be fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you too.